let's talk about material IDs, uh, what they are and how we can uh, apply them in Maya. So uh, the first thing you need to know about materials is that it's basically something, a piece of code applied to, um, to a mesh so it can know how to render on your screen. That code is called a shader, but more commonly we call it a material. So whenever you see any, um, any object on the screen in a, uh, that's a 3D model, it has some sort of shader applied to it. In Maya, by default, there is a shader called Lambert 1 and it's by default applied to everything you create in the scene, be it a cube or whatever. So, um, why would you need different material IDs? Well, let's say that this character here needs to have a, a body or skin texture applied only to his body and we have a different texture for um, for the chains and the skull and whatever, the skirt, necklace. We would need to apply different material IDs in order for him to um, utilize uh, different... I mean, it's not strictly like that, but most commonly that's the, the, um, the most used case. Let's talk simply about how we can split our mesh into different uh, material IDs. So there is this thing uh, called Hypershade that we can access by going to Windows menu, then Rendering Editors, and then Hypershade. Hypershade is a, is a UI interface that shows us a list of our materials that currently exist in the scene in the project that we are working on currently so um, here we can see that we only have this Lambert 1 material disregard these two things they're always there I'm not really sure what they are used for I never use them in, uh, in, in the game development pipeline so I don't know so we have this Lambert one and it cannot be deleted, it's there by default and that's, as you can see, when you try to delete it, non-deletable cannot be deleted. That's because it's the base. And you can see its properties here. You can also access the, these properties by selecting your mesh that has that the material in question applied to it and go uh, hold the right click on it and then go to material attributes what's going to happen is well you have to have this sidebar open here and when you go into material attributes you're going to see this uh, interface it's pretty much the same as this one here and here you can control um, color for example or um, you can add a texture or whatever and you can see here there uh, there appears a a node editor that shows you what what's happening uh, on your on your mesh for example here we can see that uh, there is a 2d texture added but yeah that's not what we are going to go into it's a bit more complicated for this video so now that we know that there exists this, I, I uh, put Hypershade to my shelf because I use it um, pretty often. So let's say I want to add another material. Let's say I want my hand to, to be of a different material. I would go about that by selecting all the faces. Let's minimize this. By selecting all the faces that I want to be in a different group. 
and now that I have that selected I can go right click assign new material and click whatever it's not really important so now when I return to hypershade I'm going to see a new material has been created and it's called Lambert 2 let's change the color so we can see it on our mesh as you can see now we have two different material IDs Lambert 1 and Lambert 2 now let's say that I wanted to create another material ID actually not another material ID but apply this new cre newly created material ID to another piece of my geometry for example these um, this necklace well what I would do is I would select the geometry of the necklace go right click and assign existing material and name it Lambert select Lambert 2 Now let's rename our Lambert 2 and call it um, red. And uh, what I would usually do is I would not use Lambert 1 at all. I, I would create um, new materials for everything because in the end it's not really important but I have this, I don't know, maybe it's an OCD thing. Um, so let's do that now I can now later when you have this uh, this thing it and it it don't it its purpose is not to only use it as a material ID later when you export it in the engine because your uh, tech artist or programmer asked you to do so uh, one more useful thing is you can know uh, what is which uh, polygons are belonging to what uh, ID that you created by selecting right click in the hypershade and on the material that that you are wondering about and uh, drag your marquee to select object uh, objects with material and now you can see which geometry is uh, is on that in case you didn't already color it the way you the way we did here for for testing purposes um, okay let's let's now wait a second let's now change everything to red because it's my personal preference to not um, to not work with Lambert 1 okay we're going to create another one call it yellow you can do it by right clicking rename or simply putting the name here and we are going to select yellow weird is going on here but okay yeah sometimes can get things get bugged let's put our eyes on a different material ID call it white skull and chain what would be the best way to select our chain here there are many ways you can do stuff like that but I usually do do it like this I select everything and then inversely select 
uh, by holding shift and dragging across my um, mesh but now we selected the necklace yeah we could also isolate actually invert isolate and then again yeah except now we still have this uh, it's usually a lot easier because you don't do it do this stuff uh, in the end you actually do that while you mm, are doing the retopology phase okay so we have the chain let's add a new material and add the same material to the to the belt and skull so it's called Lambert 5 we're going to rename it to black Again, the same bug. Yeah. Okay. So that's an example how you can assign different material IDs to different parts of your model. Now, if you were to export your uh, your mesh, you would have uh, and import it into the engine without importing these materials. They're here just for reference. You don't need to assign any textures or normal maps or anything because that's uh, assigned later in the engine in the game development pipeline as as far as my experience goes and um, once you import it you will have a list of uh, material IDs on your model and uh, each material is going to correspond to the triangles that you've assigned them to so that's generally how the whole process works in Maya so the main takeaway here is you can select um, your polygons and assign materials in the way I showed you or if you had different objects that were split on your model um, you could also assign assign them in the in a similar fashion or by dragging on uh, from the hypershade and holding middle click and dragging to to any object in the scene but that applies that material id to the whole uh, object not just the polygons that you've selected so that's it for this tutorial